वेलकम बैक दिस इज डॉक्टर चिरंजीवी मानिके प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ डेटा साइंस एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी डिपार्टमेंट एनआरआर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद एज पार्ट ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू डील द नॉइसी डेटा एज पार्ट ऑफ दैट इज अंडर दिस डेटा क्लीनिंग मेथड इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेनली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ नॉइस how to deal this that is by using different as smoothing techniques so noise is a random error or a variance in a measured variable a noisy data is a data that contains errors outliers missing values or some irrelevant data so that that can affect the quality and the accuracy of the analysis so for example in this you can see and this line separates the two groups let us say that the blue blue color and this is another different color but if you could observe on this side on this side of this graph there is no other the data points which are belongs to the different group but in this side this side if you could observe there are some data points like and these are the some data points which are these are the some data points which are not belongs to this group so these are the examples of a noisy data noise could occur that that is either in terms of class noise or attribute noise if you could take this example data like we have this attribute 1 attribute 2 and the corresponding class label and under attribute 1 we have some values and the attribute 2 the colors like red green and the class labels so the noise could occur at the class label level like there are two types of noises so among those one is a contradictory examples like you can see this first two records the attribute 1 values are 0.25 and uh, the attribute 2 values uh, red but one record that is the first is label the class label is positive and the second record the class label is negative so though the attribute values like attribute 1 and attribute 2 both the values are same their class labels are contradicting each other and next another example that is mislabeled examples means class labeling sometimes we could do this the class labeling so manually so the typos or errors could occur like you can take like suppose the third example uh, third record in this data set 0.99 that will be one value green and the negative suppose if it is a positive and that could be mislabeled as a negative so then that is the noise like another type of a class noise and similarly the attribute noise as we, we in the previous lectures also we discussed about uh, the noise the attribute noise like error 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 values missing values or don't care values etc are the the types of possible types of uh, attribute values how can we deal this how to smooth this noisy data so there are some statistical or uh, like a description techniques example like a box plots scatter plots and methods of data visualization can also be used to identify the outliers so so which may represent the noise for example you can uh, if you look at this diagram this is a box plot this is one statistical description technique so it has like the different ranges like and it has a minimum value 
and a maximum value and it also has interquartile range and this box plot could be used to identify the potential outliers you can see and below right below the minimum value there are some potential outliers so how to by using some the formulas like suppose in this the maximum value so maximum value in the data that could be a q3 plus 1.5 times a iqr interquartile range the any value which is beyond which is beyond this value and those the data points let us say data points so those would be treated as a outliers similarly the value like the minimum value in this iq in this uh, box plot the minimum value so minimum value in the data that should be equal to the q1 that is quarter 1 quartile 1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range the value which is less than this value could also be considered as a potential outliers and similarly we can use the scatter plots to identify the noise in the data so from this a uh, plot you can understand there are three groups so but uh, there are some data points which are uh, like there are, there is some data data overlapping occurs here and this is also possible uh, statistical description technique that is used to identify the noise in the data and next there are many other visualization techniques those are also used to identify the outliers which represents the noise in our data so there are different uh, techniques to deal this noisy data among those one like a binning is a one technique so uh, by using this binning we smooth a data so that the noise could be reduced in this the binning method will smooth a sorted data values by consulting its uh, neighborhoods so that is the 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 values around the around it in this binning there are mainly the three uh, category of methods we apply like we can smooth the data by applying this binning that is uh, smoothing by bin means smoothing by bin medians and then smooth, smoothing by bin boundaries so let us uh, take one simple example so because it's very simple and this is the example which i obtained from the data mining textbook by the camber so the data need to be sorted like here the price in in you know, dollars would be sorted and this data would be split into the bins or the buckets let us say suppose the bin size so bin size is 3 then this so each so we we split or we partition this data set this data into the equal sized partitions or the bins or the buckets each bin or the bucket would contain the three data three values like suppose let us say bin bin 1 we partition like first of all uh, three values 4 8 15 and bin 2 the remaining the next three values like 21 21 and 24 and bin 3 the remaining three, last the three values like 25 20 eight and 34 28 so this is the way we partition the bills into the equally the frequency or the the partition size or bin size would remains same constant the size so here the bin size is 3 and then the binning like as we discussed there are different uh, methods like we could apply the smoothing by like a bin means bin medians or smoothing by the bin boundaries let us see one by one so let us take if we applied the first uh, method like uh, the smoothing by the 
by bin means. Suppose if you take the mean of the mean values of each bin, like uh, nine, the bin one, and uh, I think it is twenty two is, and then twenty nine is the. You can just take another value so that. Uh, so let me take one another color that is to differentiate. Okay, so nine. Is the mean value of the first bin, and 22 is the mean value of the second bin, and 29 is the mean value of the third bin. So in this case, so the smoothing would be done by this method, smoothing by bin means. So then, bin one, all the values would be replaced by its bin mean, so that. So the four would be replaced, and eight would be replaced by its mean, and also the fifteen also would be replaced by the its mean. Similarly for this remaining, so bin two, and its values are replaced by its means twenty two, twenty two, and twenty two, and for the bin three, its values replaced by its mean. Its mean is twenty nine, so eight value would be replaced by the twenty nine. So this is uh, the binning one binning that is uh, smoothing by bin means, and then another method. So let us consider another method. Another method that is uh, smoothing. Smoothing by bin boundaries. Smoothing by bin boundaries. So bin boundaries because it is a sorted data. So each bin has boundaries. Like this is the boundary, the minimum and the maximum value, and this is the minimum and this is the maximum value, and this is the minimum and this is the maximum value. So suppose if you would apply this uh, smoothing, you would done this uh, smoothing by bin boundaries. So then how this these bins Would be replaced with the bin boundaries. Let us consider the bin one, the four, that is the minimum value. We, so for each boundary, each bin, we have the the minimum and the maximum boundaries. So we have to find out the closest. So that means here the value would be replaced by the closest boundary in each bin. Each value would be replaced by the closest boundary. So suppose four. And the this its boundaries are four fifteen. Okay, so four is close to the four, so that this value would be replaced by four, and eight also very close to the four, so that it would be replaced by the its uh, minimum boundary, and the fifteen is close to the maximum boundary, so that that uh, the last value in this bin would be replaced by the fifteen. So similarly for the bin two, and the twenty one. And twenty four, twenty one and twenty four are the bin boundaries. So the twenty one because it's very close to the first the minimum boundary, and twenty one also, and twenty four is close to the. So the same, it remains the same. Okay, there is no change after applying the smoothing by bin boundaries to the bin two. And similarly, we apply the same approach for the bin three also. So in this case, twenty five is the minimum boundary, and thirty four is the maximum boundary of bin. So then, the twenty five is very close. So the twenty five, so then twenty eight is close to twenty five. So this would be replaced by the twenty five, and thirty four is close to the maximum boundary. So thirty four, thirty four would be replaced by the thirty four. So this is different binning methods. Next, the data smoothing could also be done with the help of a regression. Also, so regression from this graph, you can understand that there are two, like suppose x and y. There are two uh, attributes, and the line depicts the correlation between the two attributes. And there are some other terms like a random error, slope, intercept. 
predicted value of y for x i and the observed value for observed value of y for x i and the equation the regression equation so this is a function right so which describes the correlation between the attribute x and y so by using this a regression we could perform the smoothing the next another technique that is uh, outlier analysis so outlier means is nothing but an extreme value so most we use the clustering technique to identify the outliers so from this plot you can we can easily understand that there are mainly the three groups let us say this is group 1 and this is another group and this is another group and there are few other data points like and this is one data point like these are all the other data points which are not belongs to any group and these are the possible outliers so the clustering clustering would be the best to identify the outlier so that we can easily identify the outlier value so in this lecture we discussed what is noise so the main there are mainly two types of noise like a class noise and also the attribute noise and how uh, we can deal this how we could pre process this noisy data like by applying a, a binning method here we discuss the three methods like binning uh, that is smoothing done by bin means smoothing done by medians smoothing done by the bin boundaries and we could also apply the other methods like regression and outlier analysis thank you so we'll come up with the next video lecture